first thing you're going to want to do is park the car in one place, make sure you're not going to have to move it for the rest of the day, and catch the alignment from the original beam pattern. This way, you're going to know when you go to realign the new projectors, the exact height that it needs to be, the exact distance between the steps emitted from the projectors, and all that good stuff. So the first thing is marking the reference from the original headlights. To do that, we're going to aim the car's headlights on a wall at least 25 feet away, like we have here in our shop. Uh, you can see the height of the beam pattern, and you can also sort of make out the actual steps in between. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and mark that with our masking tape. And when we go to put on the new headlights later, uh, it'll definitely come in handy. So we finally got the reflector all modified, painted, it's ready to go back into the rear housing. Going to start reassembling everything. So this is back in, we're going to actually mount the headlights back on the front of the truck right now and we're going to get ready to uh, mount the projectors into the buckets. Uh, and for that we're going to use those original reference lines we made when we first started. Okay, so now that we have the headlight buckets back mounted on the car, uh, we also have all of our HID ballast and the wiring set up so that we can provide power to the ballast and thus the bulbs, which we now have mounted into the projectors. Uh, it's really important that when you mount the bulb into the projector that it's really straight. You don't want it to be tilted or crooked or anything like that. So when you're actually fixing it in there with the clips, just make sure that you pay attention that the bulb is straight. Otherwise, your beam pattern is going to be off. You know, you'll have a hot spot or the cutoff line will be bowed, something of that matter. So once you have the bulbs in there, uh, basically what we're going to do is we're actually going to use our uh, gum epoxy, the two-part epoxy that we showed you earlier. Uh, we're going to cut up a couple little be uh, bits of that and, and ball it onto the back of the projector into a few key places where it's going to meet the reflector. 